Mason Bible, totally demonic. But what really shocked me the first time I picked this up, Sun God, Ra, Ahmed, the Father of God, the Creator, published in the Freemason Bible. So, yeah, and so we've got all this Babylonian crap mixed in here, and these are, there's an obelisk, well that's, uh, that was Osiris's penis, that's, that's uh, phallic worship, yeah. Yeah, and the Washington Monument, it's an Egyptian obelisk. There's one at the middle of St. Peter's Square in the Vatican. There's another one in the middle of the city of London. These Egyptian obelisks, what are they doing all over the planet?
fear not. Yes, this stuff's coming, and, and I, I'm in agreement with Doug Camp on the uh, rapture issue. I do not believe that there's a preacher of rapture. When I first came to that conclusion after 30-plus years of really hardcore believing in it, you know, first thing you do is kind of freak out. <laughs> like, you know I mean, we're going through all that stuff? You know, I thought I was getting out, I thought I was getting out of here. Well, you know, we're commanded in Scripture to fear not, right? And this was something interesting that, that popped out when I was doing my research uh, regarding Osiris. That's the uh, little iconography for his name, the, the hieroglyph or whatever. The name Osiris is the Greek corruption of the Egyptian name Asar or Usar. There are several possibilities as to what the name means. The strength of the eye is one. Another is he sees the throne or he who has his eye on the throne. You know, the all-seeing eye. That's all Osiris, Horus, and all that kind of stuff. Um, when I first started learning Hebrew, and I took Hebrew 101 twice, uh, it should give you an indication of my aptitude <laughs> in that regard. Uh, <laughs> um, but I did learn some pretty cool stuff. And one of the, one of the things I learned is that uh, the Hebrew letters, are also, they also double as numbers, but each of the letters have meaning in and of themselves. There can be up to like seven meanings just for each letter. So there was an idiom that said that if every Hebrew letter has seven meanings, then every word has 70. Because you have the meaning not only of the word itself, but a lot of words are combinations of what they call a, a root word, a shoresh, a, a two or three letter root word that has a prefix or a suffix. So you have the inherent meaning of the, the root word plus the prefix and the suffix and the letter meanings and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Well, when I started thinking about the name Yeshua, reading right to left as the Hebrews do, um, and looking at the meanings for those letters that comprise the, the, the word Yeshua, one of the meanings you can end up with by the letter definitions is Yod, hand, Shin, destroy, Vav, establish, Ein, I. Putting it together, the hand that destroys the establishment of the eye. That's our Savior right there. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I call my lecture here the Ephraim Awakening, Redeeming the Bride is the subtitle. Uh, this is part of the Yahuwah Triangle series, uh, which I have back there. Most of this is going to be coming from the content of the Yahuwah Triangle Part 3. It was a multi-part series, so most of it's coming from Part 3. Uh, first, I want to address the title, the Yahuwah Triangle, why the name Yahuwah. You've heard John say Yahweh. You've heard Doug say Yehovah. I landed on Yahuwah. Uh, I, I am not dogmatic about this at all. It, we are all doing the best we can with, the, with four consonants. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, your King James says Jehovah. Some say, no, it's not Jehovah because there's no J, so you end up with Yehovah or Yehovah, like Doug was saying, or Yehovah. Uh, some say Yahweh, that's one of the more popular pronunciations, uh, and I landed on Yahuwah, but I've actually gone through a phase in my life where I used all of them, <laughs> so, you know, why did I land on Yahuwah? It wasn't just because it was the last one <laughs> that I hadn't used, it was actually as a result of looking at a website called BehindTheName.com, and uh, it was my wife who got me thinking this way. She said, you ever notice the names of the prophets? And a lot of the prophets, various prophets, have a name that includes the name of God in their name. For instance, you have like Yermiyahu, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. uh, yod heh has uplifted. Or Eliyahu, Elijah, my God is yod heh vav -Heh. Or Yeshayahu, or Isaiah, which is yod heh vav -Heh, is salvation. So the fact that each of these guys who had the name of God incorporated into their name and it was pronounced Yahoo, that's what led me to, to use that pronunciation. Again, I am not dogmatic. I am not a sacred neighbor. I'm not like these guys that get crazy over this issue, but that's why I choose to pronounce it that way. How many of you are familiar with the Paleo Hebrew rendition of his name? That's the earlier Hebrew uh, that predates the, the common uh, Hebrew that we see nowadays. This is sort of the pictographic language. Anybody know what the letters represent, what they mean, the meaning? Yes. Uh-huh. And the hey is a hey, behold. Uh-huh. And then the, the wa is a nail peg. Uh-huh. And then another hey. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, pay attention. Behold the hand, behold the nail, or, or hand, behold, nail, behold, however you want to, you know. Right into having, I have to learn that language. When I saw that, 
Yeah. yeah. That is the coolest thing. And just like last night when I showed you the, the letter meanings of Yeshua, the hand that destroys the establishment of the all-seeing eye. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, this, these are the things that got me excited. You know, when I realized, you know, I grew up, I was raised King James, King James only environment. Uh, you know, and it's the Lord. Well, that's not his name. And if you look at any website that shows the Hebrew from which the English came, you know, we, we see that the capitalized L-O-R-D was where they replaced the name of God over 6,000 times in your Bible. And where the Bible actually says, I want my name to be known. Right? Over and over and over again, he says, I want my name to be known. My name is the Lord. No, it's not! <laughs> it just drives me crazy when I read some of those scriptures. So I started becoming more and more intentional uh, of actually just, even though my Bible says the Lord, just replacing that with what the original was, his actual name. Uh, and then when I saw the same thing, when I learned the, 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 the letters have meanings and stuff, and, and his name comes out to you know, basically behold the hand, behold the nail, it's like, wow. Care to guess which hand? Right. Right. Ah, how many times do we read through the scriptures, my victorious right hand, over and over again, he's talking about his right hand. Well, here's something else that I saw really cool. Somebody took the more modern rendition of Hebrew and stylized Yeshua <laughs> using the letters isn't that awesome? Yod Shin Vav Ein. Yod Shin Vav Ein. <laughs> How cool is that? And I added this to the bottom of it. The hand that destroys the establishment of the eye. <laughs> but, yeah, I found that graphic online. There's, there's an artist. I forget the person's name. I, forgive me, but you can probably just Google it. and uh, uh, Google hand in Yeshua or something, and you'll see this artist has a whole bunch of cool renditions like that. But God's amazing like that. 